Have you ever considered how simple conversations could be your ticket to becoming a millionaire? What if the words you choose and how you speak them are the key to unlocking unimaginable wealth? Would that pique your curiosity? Today, we are diving into the five art of conversation secrets of the ultra rich. Number one, the art of persuasion. All right, guys, let's kick things off with the number one secret, the art of persuasion. Now, this is a big one. Millionaires, you see, have got the skill down to perfection. They're not just chatting with you, they're influencing, they're convincing and closing deals like bosses. And here's the biggest kicker. It's not about being pushy. It's about being persuasive in a way that's almost like an art form, like being creative. So how do they do it? Well, for starters, they read a lot. They are diving into books and unpacking the secrets of influence and persuasion. They're also attending workshops and courses because, let's face it, practice makes perfect. And speaking of practice, they're not just leaving it to the chance. They're out there every day, owning their skills, talking to people and pitching ideas and learning from each and every interaction. Take Steve Jobs, for instance. That man has a master persuasion skill. He could sell you a vision of the future and make you believe it was already there. And then there's Elon Musk. Despite his quirks, when he talks about his visions for SpaceX or Tesla, people listen and get on board. So what's the takeaway? If you want to start building your empire, mastering this art of persuasion is the key. It's not just what you say, it's how you say it. So start practicing, start influencing, and who knows, you might just find yourself closing that life-changing deal sooner than you think. Number two, listen more than you speak. Now you might find this one a bit surprising, but it's all about listening more than speaking. You see, when it comes to effective communication, sometimes it's not about how much you talk, but how well you listen. And let me tell you, the elite, the millionaires, they've got this down to the art. So what's the big deal about listening, you ask? Well, it's pretty simple. By really tuning in to what others are trying to say, you're not just hearing their words, you're gaining insights, understanding their needs, figuring out how to make your conversation more impactful. It's like having a superpower where you understand people better than they understand themselves. Take someone like Larry King, the legendary talk show host. He was a master listener. His interviews were gold because he genuinely listened to his guests. Or consider Richard Branson. He's known for his exceptional listening skills, always eager to learn from others, no matter who they are. So here's the thing. If you want to really connect with people and make your mark, start by listening more. By actively listening, you're not just being polite, you're gathering the intel you need to make your next move more effective. So give it a try. And you might be amazed at how much better your interactions become. Number three, storytelling is the golden key. So this one's a real game changer. And when I say storytelling, I don't mean chatting about fairy tales or the bedtime stories, no. We are talking about the kind of narratives that inspire, motivate, and resonate deeply within people. It's the kind that sticks in your mind long after the conversation's ended. This is the stuff that makes your proposition, your ideas, absolutely unforgettable. So here's my advice. Start paying attention to how stories are told. Look at successful people, especially millionaires out there. You'll notice they all have something in common. They ace the storytellers. They use stories to connect, to captivate, and to communicate their ideas in a way that's both engaging and memorable. Steve Jobs is a prime example of this. He wasn't just selling products out there. He was telling stories that captivated the world or consider Barack Obama. His speeches are filled with narratives that inspire and move people. Take even YouTubers like Ali Abdal or Phil Ebner from Udemy. 
they've nailed this technique. They're not just teaching courses, they're telling stories, making their content a million times more engaging and relatable. You might be wondering why. Well, because they understand the power of storytelling and they're using it to make their content stick. So if you want to make an impact, whether in business or your personal life, start polishing your storytelling skills because it can change your life. Watch how the pros do it, learn from them, and then start weaving your own stories. Now, if you're liking what you're hearing, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, I have dissected each one of these mindsets in more detail. So don't forget to check out my other videos. Number four, clarity over jargon. Now, we often think that using fancy, complicated words makes us sound more intelligent, right? But here's the thing. Millionaires tend to ditch this whole jargon. They keep things clear and straightforward. And you might be wondering why. Well, the answer is pretty simple. You see, the real skill lies in making complex ideas accessible and understandable to everyone. Think about it. Your idea should really be something that a high-flying CEO can grasp, but also something that a student can understand and relate to. You can kind of imagine it as a inclusivity in your communication that helps build these broader network and connections. So my golden advice to you, always keep it simple. Seriously, simplicity is the key. This Clear communication will be like a bridge that connects you with others, no matter what their background may be. Take Elon Musk, for instance. He explains these complex space technology in a way that most people can grasp. Or Warren Buffet, he's known for his straightforward approach, no-nonsense approach to financial advice. Even Mark Zuckerberg, when announcing new Facebook features, he uses language that's easy for all of his billion of users to understand. So the bottom line is whether you're in a boardroom or a classroom, making your ideas clear and jargon free is what will make you stand out of the crowd. So next time you're about to explain something, ask yourself, is this the simplest way I can say this? Number five, emotional intelligence in conversation. So we have finally made it to the last one. So what's all this fuss about emotional intelligence or EQ in conversations? You see, it's about understanding not just what you're feeling, but also tuning into the emotions of the person you're talking to. Now, when you're able to get the sense of emotional waves in a conversation, you can adapt your approach. It's not just about what you say, but how you say it while considering the feelings of the other person. The kind of empathy, understanding, and responsiveness. That's what builds real trust. And in the world of millionaires, trust is like the holy grail. It is what lays the groundwork for every successful deal or partnership. Consider Tony Robbins, whose whole approach to life coaching is grounded in understanding and responding to people's emotional states. So the takeaway here is pretty clear. Boosting your EQ can massively upgrade your conversations. It's not just about being smart or knowledgeable. It's about being emotionally smart. So next time you're in a chat, try to really tune in to what other person is feeling. You'll be surprised at how much effective your communication becomes. There you have it. All the five secrets laid right in front of you. Remember, it's not always what you say, how you say it. I keep saying that all the time, right? has to mean something. So equip yourself with these tactics and watch as your opportunities multiply. Trust me, your voice can be your most powerful asset. So use it wisely. Now, if you found value in today's video, then give this video a thumbs up. Share the wisdom with someone who needs to hear this. And don't forget to subscribe for more secrets like this. Until next time, dream big, but act bigger. Adios.